Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what wildlife biologists do in the winter. So as you could probably tell, I am in the winter. Uh, I'm in the Canadian Rockies out in the field today, and I'm gonna talk a bit about what kind of things we do, because a lot of people think well, there's not that many animals in the winter, so what the hell do you guys do out there? So I'm going to show you. So stick around. Wildlife biologists in the winter can do a variety of different things. One is not actually be even being out right now. So some wildlife biologists only work seasonal gigs and so they work summers, but they actually don't work winters. If you manage your money well, you can really make that work for you, especially a lot of young people without a lot of commitments will like do summer field work and then go backpacking and travel around the world in the winter and maybe go to the Southern Hemisphere and escape the winter. So if you haven't saved enough to actually get through the full winter season without working, then sometimes a seasonal winter job just to get you like housing, get you through the winter is a good option. You can work at a restaurant, you can work tourism, stuff like that, and then start working again in the summer. For people who study animals that are out in the winter, they're definitely going to be quite busy in the winter. People who are able to still see their study animal in the winter are gonna be just as busy in the winter as they are in the summer. Some wildlife research programs are also able to be run through the winter. So for example, if you are a carnivore researcher and you're setting up camera traps, you're still gonna see carnivores using some of the trails that they did during the summer in the winter as well. One thing that's way easier in the winter is winter tracking surveys. So you can actually see the animals come through these areas really easy because they leave tracks in the snow and snow tracks are quite easy to find versus in the summer sometimes they're a bit harder to find. So you can get a sense of what animals are around using tracking surveys. Another thing that a lot of wildlife biologists do in the winter is take their summer field data and process everything, do statistical analysis, write up reports, publications, and plan for the next field year. So you're able to get a lot done in the office when there's a lot less going on in the winter. There's actually a lot of construction work that happens in the winter just because the ground is frozen. So there's sometimes work associated with construction projects, such as in the event of a big spill or um, or when any activity is happening around sensitive environments or water courses, there's some construction monitoring work available in the winter. I usually work during the winter, but I don't do wildlife work as much. I, I do a bit more like habitat work and general environmental assessments as much as I can at least in the winter and I usually try to take like at least two months off of work to go travel uh, this last year I traveled to Australia and New Zealand just enjoy the time that I have off before another busy summer field season I really enjoy working during the winter it's a lot quieter and sometimes you can get some pretty cool wildlife encounters in the winter and you know I'm from California I'm from a small town in the central coast of California so just being out in the winter is such a unique and new experience for me that I actually enjoy winter field work um, also the Sun goes down really early here so the days aren't as long in the summer it's much quieter you get a bit of time to yourself just you and the animals so winter work is kind of my jam so I try to do as much field work in the winter as I can however that looks. Another nice thing about winter work is there's no need to worry about bears as much in the winter so I get kind of scared of them from the summer so as long as you don't aren't working anywhere in the polar bear range uh, it's nice not to have to worry about those guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would want to do this type of work in the winter or if it is too cold for you and you'd rather take the time off and go travel. If you are interested in more videos about what it's like to be a wildlife biologist in Canada, click the subscribe button to see more videos from my channel and I will see you guys next time.